All right, in this video, we want to set up our weight trigger here to work more so along the lines of how it's supposed to, because right now it is just opening completely and closing completely. So we want to have this be able to have an intermittent value. So instead of just one to zero, we can do 0.25, for example, or something like that, based upon the weight that is actually inside of the box or kind of our trigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all the actors that are inside of the component, calculate their mass, and then that's going to be kind of what dictates the amount that the door opens. So for example, we're going to have a, well, actually, let's see, we'll just try to do like a, I'm trying to think of what a good weight would be, but anyways, we'll figure it out. So what we're going to do is inside the if statement for the begin overlap, we're going to have a float. Let's do total weight. And that's going to be set to zero for the time being. And then we want to iterate over all the overlap factors. So for example, the component is just box component. So we do box component. Should have a something here, get overlapping. Yep. Get overlapping actors. It outputs to a T array of actor pointers. So T array of a actor pointers. And let's call it overlapped. So we're going to pass that in as the parameter. And then let's do for a actor, actor in overlapped. So this will allow us to get the actors that are inside the overlap component. So we're going to do a check. So if actor, we want to get the mass that the actor, you know, contains. However, the mass is not stored in the actor. So for example, if I click on the mesh component, so the actual mesh of the door, and I can go down to physics should see something related to mass. There's mass scale. I had a hard time finding this last time because I feel like I'm partially blind. I don't think I'm being that blind. Where is it? Because it shouldn't be on the... Yeah, it should be on the mesh. Yeah, mesh in kilograms. So this is currently set to 100. If I click on the door, click on the mesh. The skeletal mesh does not have it. So this is going to be for strictly static meshes, which is going to be like 90% of the objects that we have around the world. So for example, let's go down and click on the mesh. We're going to have to get the mesh component. We're going to have to find the mass. And that mass is what we're going to use to calculate, or we're going to continually add the amount of mass that are in the actors. Well, every actor that's in this overlap component, we're going to add the total mass together. I can even speak. All right. So we need a way to get the mesh. So if we do just actor, we search for mesh, obviously nothing's going to come up because we don't have a way to really, you know, get the mesh because actors don't really have a mesh. Well, by default anyways. So what we want to do as we want to include our item here. So it's under actor, actors forward slash item.h, and we want to cast it to an item. So even though item is kind of our most our placeholder, we may end up using that just for miscellaneous objects around the world. So let's cast this. So a item, item equals cast. What we're going to cast to is a item. And we're casting from our actor. So if that's valid, we do item search for mesh, which we do not have. So we're going to create a public function on our item class here to get our mesh component. So we're going to just make a return a static, yeah, a static mesh component. So because we're using that more than once, we're going to forward declare outside the class like so. So we want this to return a u static mesh component pointer to it, get mesh. And this is just going to return mesh component. So because we're not doing anything, this can be a constant. 
and a good force in lineup, but I think the compiler will probably handle that for us. So, item, get mesh, and search for mass. So here's, we have get mass, returns a float. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our total weight, we're going to plus equal the item's mass. And then at the end, we're going to figure out some, we're going to try to interpolate between, not interpolate, sorry, uh, normalize the value between 0 and 1 to get us a value that's going to be our door percentage. So we need to figure out a weight that the door is going to be using to have for that normalized value. So for the time being, I just want to print out the value. So you'd be log, log temp, warning text, weight, and trigger, percent F. And I'm just going to print out total weight. I'm going to go ahead and save all. Close down the editor and relaunch it. Okay, once that's done, I want to go ahead and relaunch the test map. And I'll actually drag out this guy a little bit closer to the door, about like so. Okay, let's look at the log. To be in this area, walk into it, overlapping weight and trigger, zero. That's fine because we are skeletal mesh, we are not adding to the weight. Pick this up. Weight and trigger is 8.8 .8 kilos. So it is getting the actual weight. So. We know that that is good and working. Now we need to figure out something here. So let's see. We can also add a weight to the trigger or weight to ourselves as well. So that way when we're just walking around, we'll notice, hey, the door opens. So we can do that kind of later on. That'll just be something relatively simple to do. But we need to normalize. Actually, let's do that now. So that way we can just get that out of the way. So let's open up our character. Go to the header, and we're just going to add a float. Now let's do mass, or character mass. And let's set that in the constructor to be something. Uh, let's see, let me Google what average, what kilos to, or pounds to kilos is. All right, so 200 pounds is roughly uh, 90 kilos. So we're going to have the character mass be 90. And we're going to have a public function to return this. So get inventory. We're going to do float get mass. And we want it to return character, where'd it go? Character mass. And again, it can be, go ahead and be a constant because we're not altering anything. I can click. And there we go. So now in the weight trigger.cpp, if this cast fails, we're going to do an else if a escape room YouTube character, character equals cast, escape room character from actor, just like before. So this is indicating that we have to include our character up here, which we did not do. So we're going to include. Uh, escape room YouTube, escape room YouTube character dot h, and then in here we can do total weight plus equals character get mass like so. So that'll allow us to have a weight based on our character as well. So when we walk over with our character, we attribute to the door opening and closing. So I'm going to confirm that. This is working, and that's probably going to be it for this video because it's pushing about 10 minutes. So, let's just see. And wrong map again. I want to set this to the default map, so project settings, maps and modes, editor startup map. It's going to be the test escape room, same thing with the game. And save all. Okay, so let's walk into the trigger. Wait and trigger, 90 Wait and trigger 90 to pick this up. Try to put ourselves in it if I can. Yep, there we go. Wait and trigger is 98, so it's taking us both into account. 
So that's good to go. And yeah, so the only thing we have left to do, which we're going to do in the next video, is normalize our total weight between a value between 0 and 1 based off of the amount or the weight that we want to have the door be able to be controlled by. So it, let's say we need a, I don't know, 150 kilos to open the door. Well, let's, where's the calculator? So 150, and we walk into it with our character, so 90. I did that wrong, 90 divided by 150. So that'll bring us to roughly, six, the door will be 60% open. So that's if we have it at 150. So if we change the weight of the door required to be fully open to, let's say, 120, well, we would, when we walk into it with our own character, we do 120. Well, the door will be open 75% of the way. So we need to find a balance between the world objects that we're going to have in the level, players that can kind of open the door, and just overall the amount that it's going to take. So that's going to be different, obviously, depending on what it is, because this is going to be opening a drawer, so it's not too big of a deal. Anyhow, I'm kind of rambling, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it short. And as always, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below where I have a Patreon Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, obviously by calling it Patreon Team Deathmatch series, where we create Team Deathmatch and Unreal Engine with C++, have a couple of interesting features like weapon customization, custom spawning, and all that kind of stuff, as well as if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's linked down below as well, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.